So let's have Fernando Canlapan. Present po. Can you please turn on your camera so that I can see you? Hi. Oh, ang ganda naman. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, next, uh, Cosme. Is this Hilo? J-Lo po. Ah, J-Lo. Okay. Can you please turn on your camera so that I can see your beautiful faces? J-Lo. Yan. Hi, J-Lo. All right, next is uh, Pauline. Yes, <clears throat> Hi, Pauline. Okay. Next is um, Rosalind Gadi. Present, ma'am. Okay. Say nga. Uh, si Jacob Manalo. Present po. Okay. Can you turn on your camera, Jacob? Yeah. Hi, Jacob. All right. <laughs> How about John Lester Rosaba? John Lester Rizaba. Hello, ma'am. Okay. Can you turn on your camera? Mm. And please maintain uh, that your camera is on, okay? Uh, Darwin Bernardo Del Rosario. Okay. Ken Siren Sikat. Present po. Okay. And Maricel Valencia. Are you here? Present. Uh, hi, and Clarence Eunice Zita. Present, ma'am. Okay, so are you all complete now? So uh, before we start, no, uh, we have some rules in our classroom. So first, you need to un uh, mute your microphone whenever we, ha we have uh, started our classes. And please maintain your camera on to ensure participation with uh, during the discussion. Okay, so if you have any questions, you may chat in the chat pane here so that uh, we can address all of your questions later on. All right? So since this is our first meeting, uh, so it's glad to see that all of you are here. So how was your uh, online classes so far? Did you enjoy having classes with uh, your <laughs> with your teachers, Sir RC, Ma'am Juraika? Kamusta? Sige, anyone can answer. Magkamustahan muna tayo before we start since this is our first day. Hello? Is anybody home? <laughs> Can you please turn on your cameras? I cannot see your beautiful faces. Turn on your cameras, please. Ah, wala talaga. Ayaw niyo mag-turn on ng camera. O oh, sige, tatapusin na natin itong klase. Okay. <laughs> Oh, ano, paki-turn on ng mga cameras. Ayaw talaga. O, oh, sige, ayan. Buti pa si John Lester. Sige, may plus five. O, oh. oh, ayan. Tignan nyo, narinig nyo lang yung plus five. Nag-turn on ng cameras. <laughs> okay, ayan. So, lahat tayo may plus five, ha? Yung mga mag-on. Okay. Alright, so let's start with our discussion. So, um, for the first two weeks of our uh, classes, you were able to learn about uh, the different uh, spheres, right? Uh, what else? Can you tell me other uh, topics that were uh, involved no, in our module? Sige nga, can you tell me one? Sige, si John Lester. John Lester, ano pa yung natutunan mo sa module? Can you tell us something? John Lester? Ano yung mga natutunan nyo sa uh, yung Earth? Okay, ano pa? Sige, you may unmute your microphone. Ano yung tungkol sa Earth? Ano yung nabasa ninyo sa module na tungkol sa Earth? 
John Lester, can you call a classmate? Tawag ka sa mga klase mo. Jacob. Okay, Jacob. Okay, aside sa Earth, ano pa yung natutunan natin sa first two weeks? Recap lang tayo. Jacob, naka-mute ka pa, ha? Unmute your microphone. Ano pa yung natutunan mo sa ano, Earth, Earth and Life? Yung module 1 is all about Earth, right? How about the module 2? Sige, huwag ka mahiya. <laughs> uh, kikita ko may naiisip ka, naiiya ka lang sabihin. Ano? Living things? O oh, sige, ano pa? O oh, sige, Jacob, call another classmate. Sige, tawag ka ng kaklase mo. Na pwedeng mag-share uh, si J-Lo. J-Lo? Hello? J-Lo, can you tell us something that you have learned in the past two weeks? Ano pa yung natutunan mo within the past two weeks? Nakamute ka pa, J-Lo. Unmute your microphone if you're saying something. How to make Mars hab habitable. Ah, uh, yes. How to make uh, the planet Earth, or what makes the Earth, uh, planet Earth habitable. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so it's just an introduction of what the Earth is all about. And also, you have learned some of the Earth's spheres, right? Naalala niyo yung atmosphere, geosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere, and the biosphere. Yeah, so those are all the components or the characteristics of the Earth. So for today, we are going to learn something more specifically on the lithosphere. These are all found in the lithosphere, which is the minerals. Okay, see, si J-Lo, can you call a classmate? Can you tell us something about minerals? Pag naririnig niyo yung word na minerals, ano? Clarence po. Okay, Clarence. Hi, Clarence. Hi, ma'am. Okay. Anong uh, una mong naiisip when you hear the word mineral or minerals? Hmm. Sige, kahit ano, like within the picture. Sige nga, describe mo yung nasa picture. Nakikita niyo ba yung screen ko? <coughs> yes, ma'am. Uh -oh. Ayan, so can you tell us something about that? Yung mga... <clears throat> yung mga parang yaman sa kalikasan, ma'am. Yes, okay, very good. Yan, so parang yun yung mga uh, hidden gems, no? Na, na nakikita natin underneath the surface. That's what you can see here. These are the precious diamonds and stones. Yes, that's correct. But did you know that minerals also do come in other forms? Hindi lang sila ganyan na maganda. They are also found incorporately with our soil, okay? So please do tell me if I'm speaking too fast, no? But I could, you know, slow down. All right, so basically, minerals are ingredients of rocks. So a rock, this is an example of a rock. And as you can see, no? Sige nga, J-Lo, can you call a classmate to describe this rock? Describe nyo lang, ano nakikita nyo dito sa rock na to? Kent po. Kent. Hi, Ken. Ken, are you there? Hello, Ken. Uh, can you please describe this rock? Anong napapansin mo sa bato na to? Anong meron sa kanya? Describe it in terms of a color or in terms of shape. Sige. Adyan pa si Ken, ba't di siya nagsasalita? Hello? Wala si Ken. Kung ang 
kumain muna yata si Kent. O sige. Uh, J-Lo, call another classmate. Gising pa ba kayo? Natutulog pa? Francine po. <laughs> Francine, okay. Dito ba si Francine? Wala man Fer- yata si... Fernando po pala yung pangalan. Fernando, okay. Ah, Francine yung tawag niya sa kanya. Wow, what a nice name. Okay. Francine. Are you there? Naku, nag- nag- nawala na yung mga kaklase ninyo. Francine. Hello? Naku, J-Lo, sad to say, wala na namang, wala, wala yata si Francine. Tsaka si Ken. Sige pa, tawag ka pa. Angel Jeff na lang po. Angel Jeff. Hi, Angel Jeff. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Ayan, sige nga, describe mo nga yung nakikita mo dyan sa screen. Anong meron sa kanya? Ano yung... Um, uh, may yung parang uh, mga pangalan niya, ma'am, yung... Uh-huh. Ano yung kapal? Ganun. Uh-huh. Kapal? So, umakapal siya. Yung, ano pa? Ano pa yung, yung napakal pada... sa kulay niya? Um, kulay brown na may parang <laughs> parang uh-huh. ano pa aside sa brown ano pa yung color niya may pagka black ma'am yung mga uh-huh. parang bato ganun uh-huh. very good ano pa meron uh-huh. ka ba yun lang lang <laughs> okay thank you Angel Jeff that's correct so meron okay. siyang iba-ibang color Meron siyang black, may brown, may white. And as you can see, hindi siya solid na bato. So, hindi siya solid color na bato. So that means that all of these um, specks of colors that you can see on this rock are the minerals that were incorporated in the rock. Kaya sinabi na, sinasabi natin na ang minerals ay ingredients of rocks. So, lahat ng mga rocks na nakikita ninyo, lalo na kapag may ganyan, may mga parang kumikinang kinang or may mga iba-ibang color, they are all the minerals that has been incorporated in the rock. So, you have the quartz, the biotite mica, the potassium feldspar. Yeah. So, minerals, the, the, the operation definition of these uh, minerals is that it's naturally occurring. So, nandyan sila. Uh, everywhere on the lithosphere, they are inorganic. Uh, they have uh, inorganic elements or compounds with specific chemical, phys- uh, physical and chemical properties. Okay. Ano ba yung ibig sa word, sabihin ng word na inorganic? Do you have any idea? What does it mean by inorganic? Sige, Angel Jeff, can you call another classmate? Huwag po kayo mahihiyang sumagot. So, okay lang yan kung hindi tama. We could we could ask help. Um, okay? Sige. Roselyn, ma'am. Si Roselyn. Roselyn, are you there? Hello? Sige, anong ibig sabihin ng word na organic? Pag narinig nyo yung word na organic uh, food or organic vegetable, what does it mean? Okay lang yan. You don't need to say sorry. Kung hindi makasagot, okay lang. Ano yan? Sige. May Parang idea organic pa. plants po. Yes. Ano ibig sabihin ng organic plants? Kapag ang plant ay organic, ang ibig sabihin nun? Uh, good na, na uh, naturally ba siya na merong uh, natural vitamins or nilagyan siya vitamins uh, parang vitamins po okay so they are all naturally uh, incorporated with this um, living organic elements okay pag sinabi kasi inorganic ibig sabihin walang buhay or hindi kasama sa mga living things when we say organic yun yung may mga um, remnants ng mga living organisms. Okay? So, since these minerals do not contain living matter, they are all inorganic. That's why you can see that they are perfectly arranged in its uh, own bonds. 
Okay, thank you very much um, for answering that. So let's move on to the next one. Alright, so dito, makikita niyo yung table na kung saan um, merong mga characteristics ang bawat mineral. Okay, so kunyara nakakita kayo ng bato sa daan, at nakita niyo meron siyang iba't ibang color. Yung bawat color na yon ay may mga mineral doon sa rock na yon. And how will you identify that kind of mineral? So this is the table that we could uh, use no, to to clarify no or to identify specifically each of the elements so meron tayong luster hardness cleavage fracture and the color okay so meron din siyang use for example yung alam niyo ba yung lapis ninyo isa siyang mineral ang tawag sa mineral na yon is the graphite Okay, yung black na la, uh, black part ng lapis. Kaya nakakapagsulit kayo with the use of the pencil. That is because that is an example of a mineral. And that mineral is what we call as the graphite. Okay? So a lot of um, things that are found everywhere that are uh, con or that contains minerals. Okay? So later on we will see what are those uh, materials that have this following uh, minerals. But first, let us see what are the properties of the minerals. Okay, color. Ang sabi dito, ang color is the least useful property in identifying the minerals. Bakit kaya? Sa tingin nyo na yung kulay, hindi siya magandang um, parang basis sa pag-identify ng uh, mineral. Meron bang may idea sa inyo? kung bakit sa tingin nyo yung kulay, hindi siya magandang batayan no? para mag-identify na mineral. Sige. Sino yung last na sumagot? Can you please call another classmate? Rosalyn, can you please call a classmate? Or kung sino man may idea sa inyo? Sino may idea? Pollen. Okay, Pollen. Okay. Pollen ba yan o Pollen? How do you pronounce your name? Pauline, ma'am. Ah, okay, Pauline. Mainiyan kasi na Pauline. <laughs> Sige, may idea ka ba about the question? Bakit kaya sa tingin niyo yung um, kulay ay hindi magandang basis no sa pag-identify ng minerals? Do you have an idea? Pauline? Wala po. <laughs> Wala? O oh, sige. Can you call? Who would like to help Pauline? Okay. Sino sa inyo ang may idea kung bakit hindi useful ang color as a uh, an identifier? May guess ba kayo? O oh, sige. Pauline, can you call another classmate? Edna, ma'am. Okay. Edna. Ay, kakadating lang ni Edna. Hi, Edna. Can you hear me? Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Ako, bagong gising pa si Edna. Okay. <laughs> ah, sige. Okay lang. Alright, so, may tanong na lang ako sa'yo. Okay. For example, merong, uh, meron, may bibigay ako sa yung uh, tatlong bagay. No? Uh, okay. meron akong ibibigay sa iyo na red crayon, blue crayon at saka green crayon. Okay? Yung tatlong 'yon, ano sa tingin mo yung uh, common sa kanilang tatlo? Bibigyan ka ng Crayola. Red, blue, saka green. Ano yung common sa kanilang tatlo? About water po, minerals. And then, yung, then, meron lang ako situation na ibibigay sa'yo. Then, you will just answer them. And we will associate them bakit ang color is the least property, okay, in identifying minerals. Kunyari, bibigyan kita ng red crayon, blue crayon, and a uh, green crayon. Binigay ko sa'yo yung crayola. Ngayon, ano sa tingin mo yung, par yung uh, similarity nila? Ano yung meron sa kanila? Bakit sila pare-pareho? Same ba sila? O different ba sila? Mag different po, ma'am. 
different sila in terms of color po. Color. Pero ano yung pagkakapareho nila? Lahat um, sila ay? Yung color po, lahat po sila color. Pero magkakaiba po yung yung mismo ano po nila, yung kulay po nila, ibig okay. sabihin. Okay. That's correct. Thank you very much, Edna. You so, yun yung, uh, yun yung analogy nun. Kahit na magkakaiba sila ng color, pero they are still the same type of mineral. That's why minerals, uh, in terms of color, is the least useful property. Naitindihan nyo ba? Na, kunyari, nakakita kayo ng red na mineral, it doesn't mean that it's already a ruby. There are also quartz, merong ibang uri ng minerals na katulad ng kulay niya, pero hindi ibig, ibig sabihin nun na pareho sila. Okay? So, in identifying the minerals, then you need to identify other properties so that you can uh, be specific into what type of mineral it is. Yan, kagaya niyan, magkakulay sila, but they are not the same. Okay? This one, ayan, nakita niyo, may pink, may black, may violet, or purple, may brown, at meron parang clear lang. Did you know that all of these are all quartz? No? Kahit pagkakaiba sila in terms of sizes, in terms of shape, in terms of color, there are still varieties of quartz. Okay? Kaya we could not really identify a single element with just its color alone. So, guru, one property siya, isang karakteristik niya yon pero it doesn't mean na yun na yung magiging ba sole basis natin. Okay, so the first property again is the color, but this is the least one. Ang pangalawang property is the streak. Okay, can you please read what is streak? Edna, can you please call a classmate to read the definition of the streak? The color of a mineral's powder. Okay, sige, thank you Edna. So the color of a mineral's powder. Because... Minerals, kung makikita niyo yung minerals, di ba parang ano siya, hard or solid structure. But actually, we test them according to the streak. Pag sinabing streak, parang igagasgasin mo yung mineral sa isang hard na um, substance. For example, the glass. No? Ang itetest mo yung streak, uh, characteristic ng isang mineral. Kunyari, kumuha ako ng diamond at igagasgasin ko siya sa sa glass. Kapag hindi nagasgas yung glass, it means that it doesn't turn into a powder. Wala siyang mafoform na powder. Parang pag nagsusulat kayo na sa blackboard, sa chalk. Pag gamit nyo yung chalk, diba? ano nangyayari dun sa chalk kapag nagsusulat kayo sa blackboard? Sige, Edna, can you please call another classmate? <laughs> Sige, tawag ka. Kahit si may mili ka dyan. Jacob po, ma'am. Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Jacob. Hello po, ma'am. Hi, ayan. Okay, so going back to the question, na-try mo na magsulat sa blackboard? Yes, ma'am. O, ano nangyayari sa chok kapag nagsusulat ka sa blackboard? Yung pong pulbos, ma'am. Uh -huh. Nakahulit po dun sa ilalagyan po ng uh, Okay, chok. very good. So, yun yung um, uh, characteristic ng streak. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pag may, uh, nag siya ng powder, ibig sabihin, um, it is positive for the streak test. Did you know that the chalk is an example of a mineral? Ang tawag dyan is the talc or the calcite. Huh? So, yung mga ginagamit natin sa pang-araw-araw natin na buhay, meron pa rin component na mineral. Ayan, ito yung, yung picture na yan, yan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, na kapag may gasgas siya, ibig sabihin, nag-produce siya ng um, powder. Ayan, yung nakikita niyo parang lines na yan, yan yung powder na na-produce niya pag ginasgas siya sa isang um, very sturdy na object. Okay? So that's the second property. Now, going to the next one, Jacob, can you call a classmate to read this Definition of luster? John Lester, Rosabo, ma'am. Okay. John Lester, again. How the mineral surface reflects light. Okay. So, 
when we say how the mineral's surface reflects light, it's yung ability niya na maging uh, parang sa mirror, di ba? Sa mirror, it reflects the light. Ano nangyari kapag natamaan ng ilaw yung uh, salamin? No? So, it produces this, uh, it just bounces back the light. Okay? So, like the diamonds that you have here, yung background natin, yan makinang sila because the light reflects to its surface. Okay? So, we have two types of um, minerals. The metallic and the non-metallic. So, if we would recall the basic chemistry, no, so meron na, na, na di divide ang ating mga elements according to the metallic property and the non-metallic property. So, ano na papansin nyo sa dalawa? Sige, um, uh, John Lester, can you please call another classmate? No, pa, compare nyo lang yung picture. Si ano po? Si Darwin po, ma'am. Darwin. Darwin. Darwin? Yes, ma'am. Ayan. So, yung na nakikita na dito sa left, yan yung mga metallic. Metallic uh, minerals. Yung nakikita nyo sa right, yan yung mga non-metallic. So, ano sa tingin niyo yung pagkakaiba sa in terms of itsura ng metallic at ng non-metallic? Yung isa, ma'am, kumikinang. Yung isa, hindi. Okay, very good. So, the other one is, so, pag kumikinang siya, ano ibig sabihin nun? May luster ba siya o wala siyang luster? Uh, meron, ma'am. Okay, very good. Okay, very good, Darwin. So, yan yung ibig sabihin ng luster. So, kapag nag-reflect yung light doon sa mismong mineral, ibig sabihin, it has a high luster property. But if it does not reflect the light, then ang opposite ng luster is dull. Okay, so wala siyang parang ano, dull, wala siyang buhay, wala siyang uh, reflection ng light. So yung kulay niya is a dull. Okay? Now the third one or the fourth one rather is the hardness. Okay? So um, Darwin, can you call a classmate to read the definition of hardness? J-Lo, ma. Okay, J-Lo. Hardness, the ability of mineral to resist being scratched. Okay, so it's the ability of the mineral being scratched. So this hardness is also similar to, ano, anong pagkakapareho niya sa ibang property? Doon sa, diniscuss natin kanina, which is the street. Okay, very good. Uh, so, yun yung um, pagka na-scratch siya, ibig sabihin, yeah, if mineral A can scratch mineral B, what does, the, the, what does that tell us about the relative hardness of each mineral? So, kung sino yung na-scratch or sino yung nag-produce ng powder, then it means na yun yung um, hindi uh, hard, no? soft mineral, softer mineral siya compared dun sa kung saan ka nag-scratch. Diba? Kunyari, nag-scratch ka ng uh, glass, in-scratch mo yung talc or yung chalk, nag-produce siya ng powder. Yung chalk, yung malambot, ito yung hard, yung glass. Okay? So, that is one characteristic. Okay? So, most hardness scale, no? so yung um, scientist na si Mo, ay nag, uh, nagkaroon siya ng isang parang uh, test no? to, to ensure or to, to identify the hardness of each element. So, pag one ang value niya, ibig sabihin, it's the softest among all of these elements. And the hardest would be the diamond. Okay? So, an example of the talc, Yung talc, yung powder, yung pulbos na ginagamit natin sa face natin. Diba yung pulbos, ano siya? Malambot siya. Diba pag nilagay mo siya sa mukha mo, parang uh, feeling mo yung mukha mo ang lambot-lambot or ang smooth-smooth. That is because that mineral is the powder that has the very softest uh, scale in all of them. While the, the hardest one is the diamond. Diba kaya mahal ang diamond kasi it it really takes a long time before it would be formed. So, ibig sabihin, ito ang may perfect na bonds among all of these elements that it can it can be easily broken down. Mahirap siyang uh, 
basagin or mahirap siyang sirain kasi napaka-strong ng bonds nila. Not unlike with the talk. Yan. So, let's see the different examples of uh, these elements. Okay. So, na, yung gypsum sa mga koko natin nakikita yan. Okay. Ang calcite, no, pwede siya sa mga barya. Ang fluoride is are found in our toothpaste. No? Yung may mga fluoride. Appetite are found in the knife blades or window glass. Feldspar sa mga steel files, sa mga um, windows. Quartz, topaz, corundum, and diamonds. These are the precious gems and stones that are used for sa mga sing-sing, no? sa mga uh, jewelries. And so, yun yung mga ma mahal na na uri ng minerals. Okay? So, the fifth one is the fracture or cleavage. Okay. So, who was the last to oh, read? Can you please call a classmate? J-Lo, can you please call another classmate? Kent po. Okay, Kent. Kent, can you please read the definition? Uh, read lang. Kent? Ayan. Mineral breaks unevenly or irregularly. Okay, and then the cleavage. Sige, basahin mo na rin yung cleavage. The tendency of a mineral to break evenly along its weakest plane. Okay, so that is the difference. So as you can see, fracture, parang sa Tagalog. Ano yung Tagalog ng fracture? Sige. Um, can, can you call a classmate? Angel Jeff po. Angel Jeff. Okay. Angel Jeff. Okay, what do you think is uh, yung Tagalog ng fracture? Ano yung Tagalog ng fracture? Um, Or ano yung ibig sabihin ng fracture? Pag na-fracture yung buto, ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Uh, mas masisira, ma'am, yung... Uh Oo. -oh. Masisira. Okay. Or... So, parang... Mag-crack, magka-crack, ganun ba? Oo, oh, very good. So, magkakaroon na crack or mababali. Thank you very much, Angel Jeff. So, similar with the, the minerals, the minerals do also have that kind of uh, property. So, same as with the hardness. Parang sa hardness din yan. Kapag ang, ang mineral ay di nagpaproduce ng no powder it means that they do not have the capability to have to be broken down um, immediately but the difference between the fracture and the cleavage is that in the fracture kapag sinira nila yung isang mineral ma maduduruk siya into an even or hindi pantay-pantay na pieces but when in, in terms of cleavage pag sinira nila yan automatic ay maghati-hati siya sa equal uh, parts Okay, along its weakest plane. So, yun yung difference ng fracture tsaka ng cleavage. So, sa pag-fracture, an even ang kanyang um, product pieces, pero sa cleavage, even. Okay, so most of the elements that are the hardest usually just um, shows cleavage. Pero yung mga talagang madali, yung mga malalambot, like yung mga talc, they could be easily broken down in an evenly pieces, then fracture ang kanilang property. Okay? Yeah. So, usually yung may mga parang geometric size or geometric shapes, sila yung may mga cleavage. Pero yung mga irregular ang kanilang shape na ang bonds nila ay hindi uh, strong enough, no? To, to hold a certain uh, mineral, then it would easily have this fracture or easily broken down. Okay? So, yeah, these are examples of these um, elements that could uh, have the fracture. So, the fluoride, the halite, and the calcite. Okay? The sixth one is the crystal form. Okay, Angel, can you please call a classmate to read the definition? Maricel, ma'am. Okay. Si Maricel. Maricel. Maricel? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you please read the definition? 
some minerals tend to form crystals that aid in the identification of the mineral. Okay, so minerals uh, usually form crystals. Okay, thank you for reading that. Okay, so can you name, do you think ba, tinry nyo na bang tignan yung asin sa malapitan? Tinry nyo na siyang uh, i-magnifying glass or di, di nyo ba napapansin yung itsura ng salt? Either rock salt or um, iodized salt. Sige, Maricel, can you call a classmate? Pollen, Poma. Okay. Pauline? Pauline? Okay. Ano yung shape ng uh, asin? Na nakita mo na ba ang itsura ng asin? Ng isang singular na uh, piece ng asin or ng salt? Can you tell us the shape or the form that it does it have? Ano yung itsura niya? Pag tinignan mo siya ng malapitan. Kagaya ba siya niyan? Bilog? Maliit? Ano ba? Kagaya ba siya nito? Yung nakikita mo sa screen? Parang may mga um, sulok-sulok na crystals. Meron ba siyang crystals? Siguro sa iodized salt, bilog. Pero yung mga rock salt, sa rock salt ba ay uh, meron siyang mga crystals, polin? Yes, okay. So, another example. So, yun yung mga sinasabi natin na crystal form. Not, that not all minerals do tend to form a uh, crystallized structure. No? So, these examples of crystal form are those that have a very strong um, bonds with each other. That's why it's very, very difficult for them to be broken down. Okay, so dito napakagaganda ng mga crystal form, ng mga quartz, topaz, and also yung diamond. Kaya nagmumukha talaga silang expensive. Okay? Also, the specific gravity, no? when you talk about gravity, that is the force being pulled down on the Earth's surface. So it's also being measured kung ano yung bigat no? or weight of a certain mineral. So the ratio of the density of the mineral is... 1 gram per cubic square meter. So, ang sabi dito, if a mineral has a specific gravity of 5, then that means that it's 5 times as dense as the water. So, kapag daw ang mineral ay merong 5, ibig sabihin, mas mabigat siya 5 times doon sa ating water. Okay? So, that is also um, similar, again, to the bonds that they have. So, pag hard siya, usually they have a heavier or they have higher specific gravity or mas mabigat siya. Okay? Now, the eighth one is the tenacity. Okay. Pauline, can you call a classmate to read the definition of tenacity? Gadi po. Okay. Si... Ay, naku, nag-left si Gadi. Sige, tawag ka pa. Pauline? Si Edna. Okay, Edna, can you please read this uh, definition of tenacity? Describes mineral reaction to stress. Okay, so tenacity is the reaction of each mineral to stress. Okay? When you say stress, hindi yung stress na na nararamdaman natin when we are when we are uh, rushing with our modules no pag di pa natin natatapos or yung mga problem but the stress in uh, science is the pressure no yung um pagka na, na press no na press yung mga um, bato yung mga rocks or yung mga minerals together with the heat so, yan yung tinatawag na stress. So, yung mga nasa baba, yan yung mga examples of stress. So, the first one is the brittleness. Brittleness is when it turns into powder. Okay? So, parang yan yung streak. 
So kapag ka in-smash mo yung isang um, mineral at naging powdered form siya, then it's highly brittle. Okay? The second one is the malleability or the ability to be flattened. Okay, so, kunyari, may isang element and you smashed it, hindi siya nasira but it flattened. Then, it means that it's highly malleable. Okay? When you say ductility naman, it's the ability, so aside from being flattened, if you stretch it out, kung na-stretch siya, it means that it is ductile, highly ductile. Pero pag hindi siya na-stretch, ibig sabihin, wala siyang ductility. And also, the last two characteristics, which is flexible and inelastic and flexible elastic. Okay, Edna, can you please call a classmate? Ano sa tingin niyo yung pagkakaiba ng flexible inelastic at flexible elastic? Edna? Darwin po, ma'am. Darwin? Okay, Darwin. What do you think is the difference of these two? Yan, case na definition niya. Ano pagkakaiba ng flexible inelastic sa flexible elastic? Ano yung sabihin ng elastic? Sinabing elastic ang isang bagay. Kanyari, yung rubber band. Ang rubber band, kapag in-stretch mo siya, ano mangyayari sa kanya? Pahaba, ma'am. Pahaba siya. Tapos, pag binitawan mo, ano mangyayari? Babalik sa... Okay, very good. Babalik, Babalik sa siya dati. sa original. Ah. Hmm, sa original position. Pero, kunyari, yung plastic, hinila mo, yung plastic bag, hinila mo siya, tapos binitawan mo, ano mangyayari? Ano na, ma'am? Pwedeng mapun ito, kaya hindi na babalik sa dati. Okay, very good. That is now the inelastic. Okay? So, yun yung pagkakaiba ng elastic tsaka ng inelastic. So, kapag flexible siya, yes, nasa stretch mo yung plastic pero hindi na siya babalik sa original position. Pero yung rubber band, pag hinila mo siya opposite side, babalik pa rin siya pag nirelease mo in its original position. So, there are minerals that have this... Um, Properties that they are flexible but they are inelastic, flexible and elastic. So those are the stress that uh, could be tested in a mineral and that is what we call as the tenacity. Okay? So, uh, sorry, last one is the sectility. So when you say sectility, it's the ability of the minerals to be sliced by a knife. Okay? So yung mga parang similar din yan sa hardness and sa um, brittleness and also with the luster. So, kapag ka hindi mo siya nahihiwa with the knife, then it's, it doesn't have a sectility property. Okay? So, a mineral has high uh, internal arrangement of its atoms. So, napoform sila, kaya mayroon silang kanya-kanyang shapes, patterns, colors, that is because of the arrangement of the atoms. Like, for example, the silicate minerals do com to, uh, contain silicon and oxygen. So, these silicate minerals are often uh, used in uh, semiconductors. Like, this could be found in machines or in computers. No? So, yan yung mga um, basic uh, minerals that are combined no, together in order to form a new machine or gadget. Okay, so um, I will be showing you. Um, examples of minerals that can be found in your house or in our houses. Okay. Can you see my screen? Okay. Ayan. For example, the computer. So, ang computer, nakikita niyo ba or maliit yung aking screen? Zoom natin. Ayan. So, ang computer daw has the following um, elements. You have the wolframite, the copper, the silver, and the quartz. So, even if they are uh, 
you cannot really see them um, individually, but they are all found in corporately with the um, computer. Also with cosmetics, yung mga lipstick. Yan. Ang lipstick, meron daw siyang talc, yan, kagaya na sa face powder, kasi mga soft minerals ang mga yan. Meron siyang muscovite and hematite for the pigment or the color, kaya red or mayroong mga hues of other uh, of uh, yung mga sa kunyari sa violet yan mayroong mga bismuth and mga barite okay so yan yung mga common um, materials that can be found in your home yan kagaya ng pencil itong part na to is the graphite okay or pencil lead Okay, so those are examples of the minerals that you can find at home. Now, do you think there is an importance to how minerals are being identified? Bakit kaya kailangan natin i-identify ang mga minerals na to? What do you think is the importance of um, identifying these minerals? Bakit pa natin kailangan alamin? Ang mga to, ano ba yung use nila sa atin? Darwin, can you please call a classmate? Lester, ma'am. Okay, Lester. Sa tingin mo ba, important yung mga minerals na to? Opo, siyempre, ma'am. Importante. Bakit? Siyempre po, ma'am, ano. O naman, para malaman po natin kung... Kung ano, kunwari, kunwari na lang po ma'am sa ano, dito sa inelastic tsaka elastic. Yung kung ano yung elastic, tsaka yung inelastic ma'am, kasi lahat ma'am may pagkakaiba po ma'am. Hindi naman po lahat pare-pareho. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So we, we need to know the properties of each kasi we might be, uh, we might be uh, subjecting them to heat or baka ginagamit natin siya tapos hindi pala siya pwedeng mainitan, hindi pala siya pwedeng ma-stretch ng sobra or ma ma mabigyan ng so much pressure, masisira yung isang bagay. Or that could be, um, pwede rin siyang maging deadly sa atin or hindi natin alam na may poison pala siya like the lead. So we need to know the properties of each so that we know how to use all of them properly. And also, pwede rin tayo makapag-innovate ng mga bagay out of these minerals. But did you know that marami pang minerals ang hindi pa na-discover? So, according to the, the, the U.S. Mineral Federation, merong 2,500 minerals ang present sa Earth. Pero, marami pa sa kanila, most of them are rare and occurring in abundance and most of them are not yet identified. Okay, so alin nyo, in the near future, kung gusto nyo maging scientist, magkaroon kayo ng chance na makadiscover ng panibagong mineral that could be used, be, be of uh, use with humans, like this one. So, itong mga to, yung mga bagay na nakikita nyo sa bahay niyo, yung carpet niyo, yung salamin niyo, relo, yan. May mga minerals yung mga yan. Even the food that we eat. Now, even if they are inorganic, no, they could be still used as uh, minerals in our body. Diba ang katawan natin, kailangan ng vitamins and at the same time, the minerals to better absorb all of these vitamins. Okay? So, that ends our lesson. So, do you have any questions, H.E.? Malino po ba ang ating discussion? Opo. Yes, okay, thank you for... Uh, Listening. So, I have posted already. Did you see my uh, post in our Google Classroom? Nakita niyo na ba? Kahapon ko pa siya pinost. Nakita niyo na ba? Yes, ma'am. Hindi pa? Hindi pa, So, I have posted that you know that you will be needing to finish until the... Until next week, Monday. No? So, Monday at 12 noon, no, magsa-stop na yung sending ng mga... Uh, hindi niya na siya pwedeng i-click. No? Hindi niya na siya pwedeng i-send. No? Hindi niya na pwedeng magawa. So, as early as today, you still have the time. 
So our schedule is uh, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Tuesday and Friday, right? So hanggang Friday morning, you could still finish all of this um, material. Itong quizzes na to, you could only just um, click it once, okay? Do not click it several times. Kapag na-click niyo siya ng once, hindi niyo na pwedeng ulitin. So, make sure that you study first all of our materials. In-upload ko yung materials natin, which is this PowerPoint. Read the PowerPoint first before answering the questions. And also this, um, yan, itong ating um, recitation part, what are the five criteria of the mineral? So, this question, you need to read, uh, you need to Watch first the video before you would answer. Do not answer in the class comment. Just answer on the upper right corner and click uh, submit no? so that your answers would only direct to me. No? Kasi pag dito kayo nag-comment, uh, everybody will see your answer. Okay? Nakuha po ba? So, I would be also posting other tasks. No, meron tayong apat na tasks. So, this is one. One task that I have posted. The quizzes, number two. And I, I will be posting another one on Thursday. Okay? So, please do finish this. No? Again, yung quizzes, make sure na pag kinlip na siya, ready na kayong magsagot. Wala naman siyang time limit, but once you click it, you need to finish the quiz all throughout. Alright? So, if you have any questions or problems regarding the activities, just chat me through our uh, FB group chat. Okay? Marino po ba, H.E.? Do you have any questions? Wala po. Okay. So, please, next time, no, make sure to be on time in our class para maabutan po natin yung ating uh, discussion because uh, I will be only discussing this uh, lesson part every first meeting. So, since our first meeting of the week is Tuesday, so that will be 7.30 to 8.30. And the rest of the times will be given for you to answer the activities that were posted in our Google Classroom. Okay? Ma'am, pa niyo po kasi i-submit, ma'am. Ano po? Ano po kasi i-submit, ma'am? I-submit yung alin? Yung kapag isasend na po yung sagot dito. Ayun, dyan ah, po. Paano po yeah. ako nang? Uh, Sige, bulat. magpapakita ako ng example kung paano nyo sasagutin yung question para hindi nakikita ng mga klase ninyo yung sagot. Pero uh, nakapag-start na ba kayo sa ibang classes ng uh, Google Classroom? Nakapag-start na ba kayong magsagot? Or hindi pa? This is your first time. Hindi pa po. Ah, okay. Alright. Sige, eto. Pakita ko sa inyo para minsan nang instruction. Okay, so I will be using a different account no? para student account to. Ayan, so I'm also enrolled, no? Ayan, mag-join ako sa klase ninyo. And then you would be, uh, yan. So, makikita ko na yung mga uh, assignment natin. So, for example, uh, uh, ito kasi yung una, this is just the PowerPoint, yung material. PowerPoint na to, wala itong sasagutan. So, you just need to read and understand the PowerPoint presentation. The second task is this one. What are the five criteria of a mineral? So, makikita nyo dito sa upper right corner, nakikita nyo ba? Your answer, sabi nga. Your answer. So, magta-type ka dyan ang sagot mo and then you would click turn in. So, for example, ang sagot ko is uh, luster. Kunyari lang to ha, pero hindi ito yung sagot. Kasi kailangan nyo mo nang panoorin yung video bago nyo masagutan yung tanong. Then you just click turn in. So, won't be able to change. So, once you have turned in the answer, you are not uh, allowed to resubmit again and change your answer. So, one time um, submission of answer siya. Okay? So, turn in. Kapag na-turn in na siya, napas mo na yung sagot mo. Okay? So, lilitaw na siya sa akin dito na nasagutan na siya. Okay? So, uh, yan. So, meron ng isang nagsagot. Ako yun. Okay? So, ganun lang yung sasagutan ninyo. You just need to 
remember, you need to turn in your answers every time that you are going to send it via Google Classroom. The other one naman is the quizzes. Itong quizzes na to, again, one time pindot lang to. Kapag napindot nyo to, hindi nyo na pwedeng ulitin kasi this is your quiz part. So if I will be clicking this, you are be linked into a another um, account. Yan. Uh, accept, accept nyo lang. Nakalink naman yung Google Classroom natin sa quizzes. So, ganyan siya. So, you need to sign up first, no? So that you could be able to use the quizzes. Kunyari, ganito yung birthday natin. Grade 11. And so, mag enter ka sa quizzes na yan. Start quiz nyo lang siya. So, hindi, pag hindi pa kayo part ng quizzes, please do let me uh, inform nyo ako para mabigyan ko kayo ng assistance no para sa inyong uh, quizzes. Kasi minsan yung iba, nakiklik nila yung quizzes na hindi pa nila talaga sasagutan. Eh, pag naklik nyo yun, talagang hindi na kayo pwedeng sumagot doon. So, kapag hindi kayo makapag-login, meron akong ibibigay na code sa inyo and then you will join that code. Okay? But automatic kasi, once you are enrolled in our Google Classroom, it is linked with the quizzes. You just need to uh, make a, an account para madali siyang marirecord or madali kayong makapasok dun sa quizzes natin. Because the quizzes part, these are the test or the assessment natin every time that we are uh, finishing the week. No? So, yun yung magiging assessment part. Okay? So, marinaw po ba? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, if it yes, requires you to, um, to, ang tawag dito, attach a file, please read the instructions carefully before uh, submitting anything. Okay? So, that would be all. So, that um, all of the other tasks will be posted in our Google Classroom and uh, announcement on our FB group chat. So the rest of the week, we will meet again next Tuesday. Okay? So, again, thank you for your time. Sige, you may leave the room. Good day, ma'am. Wait, no, no, no. wait, 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 wait. Wag mo na kayo mag-leave. I'm sorry. I forgot. You have your next class, right? Ma'am. Um. Your next class is... Uh, empowerment Technologies. So, si Sir uh, Jeffrey Patawaran. So, wag mo na kayo maglilive dito sa meet na to. Ito na yung gagamitin niyo for our session. Okay? So, five. Ang oras natin is 9, 8.36 na. 45. Ah, oh, sige. 8, 8.45. Ede, 2 hours yung klase ko. Uh, hindi. Tapos na ako. So, yung next class niyo niyan would be, balik kayo dito ng 9.45. Tama? 8.45. Ah, magkaklase ka na. Okay. Uh, H.E., do not leave, no? Pwede kayong mag-break muna. Balik kayo ng 8.45. No? Tapos si Sir Jeffrey patawaran na yung susunod na magkaklase. Okay po ba? Yes, ma. Ah, wala nga. Alas, ha? So, 8.45, balik kayo. Iwan nyo lang yung phone nyo na nakaganyan. Maka-mute muna. Tapos, pagka nag-okay na si Sir Jeffrey Patawaran din, uh, babalik mo siya na. Okay? You will have your next class. Alright? Sige. Okay, you may have your break. Don't leave yet.